Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Unify Connect display. Ubiquity did send this to me for a video and I thank them for it. The only Connect display currently on the US site is the 21.5 inch and it does require PoE++ so we'll go through some of the specs and what you need. If you're new here and would like to support the channel hit the subscribe button I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com and I do have affiliate links in the description below. First, I'm going to show you what comes in the box. So we have our display, which is fairly big, and we could have this either vertical or horizontal, whichever way we'd like, and we will test that out. And the only other thing that it comes with is the VESA mount adapter. So it doesn't actually come with a mount. If you need one, you're going to have to purchase one. I don't have one for this video, so I'm just going to be laying it on my desk. We don't have Unify Connect in Canada yet. The Unify Connect display is really used for digital signage, but there's a few other things that we could do. We could display media, web pages, and Android apps. We could also display our Unify Protect cameras, which we will take a look at. Under the features, they say that it's ideal for interactive point of sale web applications, and then we have multiple mounting options. So if we scroll down a little bit, we'll be able to see the mounts. So we have our flush mount, we have our table display, and then we have the display surface mount. Currently, the VESA mount is coming soon. Like I stated in the beginning of the video, this needs to be powered by PoE++. So some of the switches that use that are the Switch Pro 24 PoE, the 48 Pro PoE, and the Industrial Switch. They also have the Mission Critical Switch, and you could buy a PoE injector if you don't have a switch that has PoE++. You also would need some sort of Unify console to be able to run Unify Connect. So the UDM Pro, the UDM SE, the UDR, or the Dreamwalls, or CloudKey Gen 2 Plus. Now let's go over to the side desk. We'll put the mount on because it is magnetic. We'll plug it into the ethernet and then get it adopted. And this is our connect display, the 21.5 inch. If we turn it around, this is where we're gonna plug in our ethernet cable. So on the back, we have this little cap opening. That's where we're gonna plug it in and we have a reset button. So I'm gonna grab my ethernet cable and the mount. This is the adapter and it does have a lock on top. It is magnetic and you'll see how that works once I route the ethernet cable through the hole. So now I have this ethernet cable, I'm gonna push it through the hole and we're gonna plug it into the display. And then I'm gonna put the adapter onto the display. And now that's locked in with magnets, I'm gonna turn it up and then I'm gonna actually lock it on the top. So now that adapter won't go anywhere and if we turn it around, we'll be able to see that the Unify display is booting. So let's go back to the computer and then get this adopted. All right, now I'm inside of Unify Connect and we can see that the Connect display is ready to be adopted. So I'll click to adopt and this should only take a few minutes. And that only took me about 30 seconds to adopt. I already did have the firmware up to date, but let's take a look at some of the settings of the display. So if we click on the display, it's gonna show us that it's powered on. We have no content assigned to the display yet. The status is on, the model, the resolution, the mode, the uptime, the device version, the connection type, which is ethernet, MAC address, IP address, and then compliance information. Now we could give this device a name if we'd like. I'm just gonna leave it at default and you can put it in a group. Seeing that I only have one display, there's no reason to put a group in. We also have some controls. So we could power this on or off and then we could do the volume or we could do the brightness, which is really great. We have auto sleep and then auto rotation. If we have auto sleep turned on, it will go to sleep after 10 minutes of inactivity. I'm actually gonna turn that off. The next thing is auto rotation. So if we move this from horizontal to vertical, it will auto rotate it, which I'll leave on because we're gonna test that out. Now under mode, this is where we have a few different selections. So we have web where we could put in a website and we will try that with my website. We have Android app and this is a part of their labs and then we have digital signage and we'll test all three of them. One UI change that I would like them to make is to be able to put the protect under the mode. The only way to check on your protect is to go into the settings click on system and then we need to check off the protect application so enable protect in app mode on connect displays i think this should be enabled by default but maybe there's some security reason why you wouldn't want to have it on so let's enable that right now and we'll test that out first so after it's enabled it will update we could go back to our display click on the display go to settings and then we could scroll down to android app under the app, we could see that Unify Protect is already there, so we'll click on that. We could tell that it's installing onto the display, and if I look over at the display, it is starting Unify Protect. Let's go over to my desk and then look at the display with Protect on it. Now, this may be a little hard to see, but this is just going over the terms and service, and we're just going to continue on that. Now, it's asking us for Unify Protect to activate it. We need to go to activate.ui.com and then enter this code. 
So I'm going to do that. You can also log in with an account. My password's pretty long, so I'm going to just follow these steps. Now that I've activated it, it's showing me all the consoles that are under my ownership as well as my email address. This is going to be blurred out, obviously, but we will select my Mac Telecom UNVR. Okay, and here we go. We have all of my cameras on the front. We can see some of the smart detections. Let's go ahead and click on one of the cameras. So I'm just going to look at my Catio camera. And this is the live feed from my backyard currently. Yes, the display does look a little off, but when I'm looking at this, it does have a great picture color. We had scrolled through some events if we'd like. We could also click on the screen and make this full screen as well. So we'll click on the screen, then click on the bottom. And now we could see that it's taking over the full screen. If you want to zoom into a particular area, we'll just take my two fingers and then we'll zoom in. Now at the top right, we have this multi view. So if I click on this, it's going to bring up all of my cameras. Now you can see all my cameras on here. And this is what I'm probably going to use for this display for my use once I get a mount for it. And that's the Unify Protect mode, which works really well. So now let's take a look at how a web page loads. Now going back to the connect display, the display mode, we're going to select web. Under web, I'm going to put a URL of my website, so www.mactelecomnetworks.com. And looking over at the Connect display, that automatically loaded it, so let's go take a look. I'm also going to show you something like the weather network as well. We can see the display did bring up my website. I'll click around, and we could do different things on my website. So if you want to hire us, look at my services, you could also do that. It's very responsive to the touch as well, so there's no delay in between that. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to load on something like the weather network. In about half a second after I put in the weather network website, it did display it. We could see that it's 15 degrees Celsius here. We could also scroll down and then we could look at the weather map. So you could easily use the connect as an interactive display, which is awesome. What we'll do next is use this for digital signage. So under the display mode, we'll click the drop down and go to digital signage. Currently we have no media uploaded, so we're going to do that. We could either do photos or images. So I'm going to press upload media. And then I have this file called connect test. So I'm going to click on that and we're going to press open. You may or may not be able to hear that playing in the background because there is volume on these displays. I'm going to turn the volume down a bit and we'll take a look at what's playing. All right, and here's the video that's playing on the Kinect display. This is an MP4 of a job that I did. We do have a full video on this as well, which I'll put in the links below. But this will just keep going over and over and repeating. We can also change the direction of this screen. So let me pick it up. And then you can see that it went the other way. This probably isn't the best for video files, but if you had an interactive display or a photo, this would work really well. And the last thing we're going to take a look at is uploading an APK Android file. So we're going to go under the display mode. I'm going to select Android app, and then we're going to go to manage app. Under manage apps, we only have Unify Protect, but I'm going to get Angry Birds for the display. So we have this APK file, I'm going to download it. And now with that file downloaded, we could upload it to the connect display. So we'll click on upload and you can see the APK file right here. I'm going to click on it and then press open. And on the bottom, it's preparing to upload. And here's a video of me playing Angry Birds on the connect display. I could see this being really good in a waiting area, giving people something to do. And this is very responsive to the touch. You'd see me doing the bird with the slingshot. And that's pretty well it. And that's going to be it on this video on the Unify Connect display. This 21.5 inch Connect display is $699 USD. Currently, I don't deploy any digital signage, but once this comes to Canada, I probably will. Let me know in the comments below if this is a good deal for digital signage and if you're currently using Unify Connect. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.